people talk about government, they, they talk about it in terms of all the new things they would like to see it do, paying very little mind to all the things it's already doing. And so the tendency is for government to become like a coral reef. You know, a coral reef is, is supposedly a living thing. It's described as a living thing, but what it really is is a thin veneer of li living things attached to the carcasses or the skeletons or the remains of all the dead things that used to be living things that occupy much greater mass. So much of the U.S. government is like this giant dead mass that sits there doing functions that were considered necessary in the 1960s or the 1920s or even in, well back into the 19th century. And it is so tremendously hard um, to alter their way. So we end up simply then applying another layer of new life, new growth on top of all that has gone before. And it's just too difficult to question what has gone before. But I often think that one of the greatest obstacles to getting things done are all the things that formerly got done. And I'll give you, a, you know, uh, there's a, when, Whenever you, even in the in this tiny little area of the executive office of the president, which is a very small part of the government, there are probably about twice as many people there as there need to be, and the result of that is is not just that you waste a few dollars on salaries, because again, in the scheme of things, it's not so much. It's that everybody is going to twice as many meetings as they need to do. Every um, every arrangement is twice as, or maybe. The squ uh, squared because these can be exponential. Uh, you have you know four people doing the work of two, and then eight doing the work of four, and 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 so it multiplies. You would get the, the presidency would be much more effective if at the beginning of every president, uh, if the presidency would be much more effective if presidents hired half as many people as they do in their personal office. So why don't they do it? Well, the answer is most of those people have worked on a campaign. The president owes them a little something, or they're friends of people, or they're uh, people whom you're grooming for some future leadership role. And so the decision to incorporate them, any one person, it always points to a yes answer, even though the collective answer should be a no answer. Now, you multiply that by all the trillions of dollars that the government consumes, and you see why this machine can't move, but, or it moves very slowly and often very incompetently. But the idea that some kind of inspirational leader can make it work better I, I don't believe that. I think that making it work better is going to require constant retooling from inside that is dedicated to getting rid of the dead mass. It's not so much, I, I even think on, on this question of, of effectiveness, that reduction is, because that, that makes it sound like the pro, um, a lot, some of the things the government does are done by computers and machines and involve sending out checks. And, I mean, Social Security, I mean, whatever, whether it's a good program or bad, it doesn't become any less efficient as it gets bigger. That the same number of people can send out 15 million checks as can send out 30 million checks. It's, it's, it's more money, it's not more work. But the multiplication of programs, they, they can often, often be quite small programs that are the ones that tie the government up in knots the most. Uh, I mean, one of the classic instances in the, in the area of education, where we have just this dazzling array of programs. The government doesn't spend that much money. The federal government, I should say, does not spend so much money on, on uh, education. The United States as a whole, as a society, spends an enormous amount, but the federal share of it is quite small. What the federal government does is it has teams and individuals working on concepts left layered one on top of another, going, going all the way back probably to the Teddy Roosevelt administration, but with the thickest stratum from the Johnson administration, and then now this new stratum from the Bush administration, and they're working on contradictory goals. They are uh, tripping over each other's feet. They are uh, competing with one another, and they eventually solve their bureaucratic problems uh, by coming to kind of treaties of understanding and saying that the way this is going to work is you run your program your way and I will run my program which tries to do exactly the opposite in my way and you and I will preserve our friendly relationship even though our two programs are constantly crashing and bashing against one another and compromising each other's even hope for effectiveness. Well, we've had those. In the past. Uh, after World War II, uh, President Truman invited uh, President Hoover to run a great commission to retool and reorganize the U.S. government after World War II. And it did some good. Uh, it, made, uh, it may introduce some degree of rationality, and periodically uh, those things have worked. Um, 
Uh, most recently, we've had the introduction of the Department of Homeland Security, which brought again, which tried to rationalize uh, some of the functions of government. I mean, now, at last, after some couple of hundred years, uh, you have both immigrations and customs in the same bureaucracy. So you used to, when you entered the United States, go through two checkpoints, one for immigration, one for customs, and now you go for, through one, and so that, that's useful. Uh, I, I think it requires, though, I mean, it requires, uh, and this goes back to your question about leadership, to make government effective requires a constant commitment to management as a core value. And almost nobody in public life really sincerely feels that. Because first, the people going to public life tend to be people who are not managers. And second, because good management so often uh, gets in the way of other things that people really care about more.